our eyes help us to see things. The human eye is like a digital camera. There are different parts of the eye that carry out different functions. When we look at objects, the light that reflects off the object enters the eye. The cornea is the clear front surface of the eye. It acts as a window that allows light to get into the eye. The cornea bends the light before it enters the eye. The light entering passes through a watery substance called the aqueous humor. This fills the area behind the cornea. The iris is the colored part of the eye. It's a thin circular structure that controls how much light enters the eye. The iris is made up of muscles that contract and relax in order to control how much light will enter the eye. The light rays pass to the pupil. The pupil is a black hole that appears at the center of the iris. In bright light, the circular muscles contract and the radial muscles relax, so the pupil appears smaller, therefore less light enters. This helps us to protect our eyes from too much light entering. In dim light, the radial muscles contract and the circular muscles relax, so the pupil appears bigger. Therefore more light enters, so we can see in darker settings. The lens is behind the pupil. It helps us to see things clearly. The lens focuses and defocuses depending on how far an object is. It does this by changing its shape. The ciliary muscles help to control the shape of the lens. So if something is close to your eye, then the lens needs to focus on it to see it clearly. The lens is able to do this as the ciliary muscles contract and make the lens thicker. If something is far away from your eye, then the ciliary muscles relax and make the lens slim. The light then passes through the vitreous humor and eventually reaches the layer at the back of the eye, which is called the retina. Most of the light that enters the eye is focused on a focal point on the retina. This is known as the macula, or the fovea. The retina is made up of cells that converts the light that enters your eye into electrical impulses. The retina perceives the world as upside down but it's the brain that flips the image, like this. The electrical impulses then travel through the optic nerve, which is at the back of the eye. This area where the optic nerve is located is also a blind spot. The optic nerve connects to the occipital lobe in the back of the brain. The brain processes this information and that's how we're able to see. Did you know that there are six muscles that control eye movement. The eye has six muscles that are attached to the sclera. This is the surrounding white part of the eye. These extraocular muscles allow us to track objects without turning our heads. These muscles allow us to look up, down, side to side, and diagonally. <laughs>